Welcome to Rocky Broad Solar, where we encourage you to make the current flow. On today's episode, we're going to go over how to install an Eaton CSR raker inside the EG4 Grid Boss. Let's get into it. So first off, why would you want to install this Eaton CSR breaker in the grid boss? Well, uh, mainly if you have a separate meter and separate main service panel and you're going to do a whole home backup system and you're going to locate this uh, grid boss between your meter and your main service panel, well now all of a sudden it's not going to have overcurrent protection. So this is overcurrent protection. This would then be your service disconnect. So assuming you have a 200 amp service, you don't have a disconnect out there at the meter, you just have your main panel with a main breaker in it, you would um, wanna install this Eaton CSR breaker. These breakers are rated for service entrance, and so this will be your new service disconnect. It'll protect uh, the grid boss and everything downstream at the amperage it's rated at. Now these breakers come in many different sizes, anywhere between 100 amps and 200 amps in increments of 25 amps. And that way you can size it based on the size of your current electrical service. Just remember, if you've got a separate meter and main service panel that had three wire between the meter and main service panel, and then you're locating this grid boss in between, this now becomes your new service entrance equipment. And you would then have to run four wire from the grid boss to your main service panel, keeping the grounds and neutrals isolated downstream of the grid boss. All right, so we're gonna go ahead today and we're gonna install this Eaton CSR breaker. It's a 200 amp breaker and replace of the main lugs here. Now, I don't really need that in my situation, uh, but what I'm doing it for is so that it's easier for me to test different equipment without uh, cutting grid power to all of my backup systems here. So uh, by installing this, rather than having to turn off my service disconnect upstream of all of my backup systems, um, I'll be able to shut this down um, to simulate a grid outage on this or shut that one down to simulate a grid outage on it. But I won't have to hit my main service entrance breaker. And then I can also have my internet router hooked up upstream of both of these systems so that when the grid is operating and I'm just sort of testing outage scenarios, uh, I don't lose my internet. Uh, disc, I have hit my service disconnect, it is off. I have hit my PV system disconnect, disconnecting power to the PV breaker here, the FlexBoss breaker, got zero volts. Zero volts on my smart ports. Zero volts on my non-backup. Zero volts on my backup. Zero volts on the grid. So I feel good about this. Again, we're right now we're running in backup mode on the grow watt. Once I have this breaker installed, I can easily turn this off and on while still running the house on grid power if I want. Apologize for the bad camera angle here. Um, but my stairs are in the way and my other camera ran out of room on it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this breaker kit comes with a couple little uh, service entrance conductor protectors. That the reason why is uh, once this breaker is installed, and you turn it off, it will de-energize everything except for the conductors coming in. And uh, these are a little protective measure to prevent somebody from accidentally coming into contacting that and electrocuting themselves. Comes with a uh, couple little hex nuts, a couple little screws there, and the breaker itself. See if we can finagle these wires in here. 
one thing I hate about large copper wire, so much difficult, more difficult to work with compared to aluminum uh, due to the bending radius. Now we're going to torque it to spec. These go down to uh, 250 foot pounds, or I believe it was 28 Newton meters squared. So we go to the Newton meters squared side. We, we, we adjust this to the 20, and then we go eight more clicks. Well, that's frustrating. This little uh, tab here is in the way of me torquing that breaker down. Let me see if I can find an extension or something. Yeah, I don't even think an extension is going to do it. So we've got a main breaker now in the grid boss where I can isolate this system from everything else in the home. If you're interested in any of the products used in this video, go ahead down in the description below, check out our affiliate links and our coupon codes that you can stack on top of any kind of other deals going on at this time. I'll also link this uh, Eaton CSR breaker. I think I got this one on Amazon. If you're a DIYer looking for a little more help on your install, go ahead to rockybroadsolar.com. Check out our ultimate DIY guide. And uh, as always, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Till next time, take care.